Hey, let's switch. In this video, we'll explore the Dragon Crashers sample for UI Toolkit. This project showcases how to create some common game interfaces using UI Toolkit and UI Builder. Download it for free on the Asset Store and follow the link to our guidebook on UI design. The project features a small cross section of the original Dragon Crashers built with the Universal Render Pipeline. On the front end, we've added a set of menu screens powered by UI Toolkit. Let's take a quick tour of these UIs. We default to the home screen where you can launch the sample app. Then this character screen combines game objects and UI elements. Use the tab menu system to toggle between each character's stats and skills, or click on the equipment slots to open an inventory screen. Acquire potions and then level up each character in typical RPG fashion. Use the resources screen to find out more about UI toolkit and pop open the shop screen to simulate in-game purchases. Here you can buy gold, gems, or potions. The mail screen shows how to build the front end for an in-game messaging client and use the options bar in the corner to open up a settings screen from anywhere. Turn down the music and sound effects to your audio mixer or choose a holiday theme to decorate your screens or even show a little FPS counter. Play the game in either landscape or portrait modes. In this update, we focused on making our UIs more responsive to support a variety of devices. This can help your application reach an even wider audience. In UI Toolkit, UXML files and USS style sheets serve as the foundation for structuring and styling UI elements. The UXML markup language lets you build complex hierarchies that reflect the visual structure of your UI. Here, the main menu in our project is a collection of predefined UXML files. Edit each one in isolation to assemble your UI in a modular and organized manner. Much like prefabs work for game objects, UXML files promote reusability and consistency in your interface. Meanwhile, USS offers a powerful syntax for creating UI styles. Once you define some common styles, apply them to multiple UIs with just a drag and drop operation. UI Toolkit uses the Flexbox system to control layout, alignment, and spacing. For example, this inventory screen uses flex items and flex containers to rearrange itself to different screen sizes. Defining flex boxes with percentages instead of fixed pixel values can make your UIs responsive to different target devices. Then you have a broad overall structure to later add smaller pixel perfect details. Combine that with custom C Sharp scripts and you have a flexible system to help you build a wide range of UIs for almost any application. Note that the sample demo takes advantage of theme style sheets. A theme is a collection of styles that you can change all at once. For example, we can use themes to toggle the seasonal decorative elements on or off. Swap out the TSS asset in the panel settings and the UI updates multiple styles. At runtime, instead of changing this theme manually, we handle this with a custom theme manager script. Themes can also be useful for changing styles between portrait and landscape modes. Define the same name selectors in a portrait theme that matches a landscape theme. Use a script to listen for changes to the UI size and position. You can do that with the UI Toolkit's geometry changed event. Then replace one set of styles for another at runtime. Swapping between portrait and landscape themes that makes your application look great no matter how the target device is oriented. Just remember that when making edits in the UI Builder, select the correct theme in the dropdown. Otherwise, your changes might not work for the intended theme. If you're building for mobile devices that have rounded corners or notches, use the Screen Safe Area API to keep your interactive controls away from those parts of the screen. 
One technique is to place every modal UI into a single visual element container. Adjusting the border width of that container then automatically applies those settings to its child elements. This pushes the important parts of the interface toward the center of the screen. To visualize that safe area, the sample project includes a simple repeating fill pattern. You can define that style in USS or just use the safe area border script to apply a color. Once those interactive parts of the UI are within the safe area, layer them with other visual elements that don't need to be. For example, if you move the background graphic outside of the safe area container, it can expand to the edges of the screen once again. With UI Toolkit, depending on your project's needs, you can customize visual elements as well. Create a class that inherits from visual element, and inside, define a new UXML factory and give it new UXML traits. The custom elements then appear in the UI Builder's library with the traits showing up in the inspector. That makes it easy to drop custom elements into any UI. You can find a few of these custom elements throughout the Dragon Crasher sample. Here we show a simple variation on a toggle button that includes an extra visual slider and label. And this radial progress bar in the upper left corner shows the player's total level. Or we can use custom health bars in the game scene with extra styling for the boss character, build up your own library of custom elements, and then they'll be ready to deploy whenever you need them. Well, that was a quick tour of our updated Dragon Crashers UI toolkit sample. Of course, there's plenty more to discover inside. Just download the project from the asset store to get started. We hope that you enjoy exploring the latest iteration of the project. Be sure to check out the companion ebook covering user interface design and implementation. And if you're more interested in code architecture, you can also download the quiz you game sample, which is more directed toward programmers and UI developers. Whether you're building for desktop, console, or mobile, UI Toolkit can help you create fast and fun user interfaces for all of your new projects. Thanks for watching.